Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to write expression comments or notes in the expression editor of Adobe After Effects CC 2024. So what are expression comments and why might you use them? Well, expression comments are just notes that you can write underneath an expression and they do not affect the functionality of the expression. Well, let's say that you add an expression and you just wanna document what that expression does. So you could create a comment and just define that expression. What is its purpose or how does it work? Maybe you're collaborating with someone or working on a team and you just want to write detailed instructions or notes about the expressions. Maybe you want to credit the source or the tutorial where you learned about the expression or who wrote the expression. To demonstrate, I'm going to add the wiggle expression on this logo and I'm also going to add some expression slider controls. So to add the wiggle expression, I'll select the logo layer, tap P for the position property, press Option or Alt, then click on the stopwatch next to position. Then I'm gonna type out wiggle, all lowercase, so W-I-G-G-L-E, open and close parentheses. I'm gonna type in two comma 20 comma 0.5. I'll tap the right arrow key to go outside the parentheses and put a semicolon to close out that expression line. I'll click away, tap the space bar, and now I've got some wiggle. Now I'm gonna add an expression slider control. So I'll select the logo layer, go to the top menu, go to effect, expression controls, slider control. I'm gonna tap enter or return to rename this. I'm just gonna call this freak for frequency. Hit enter or return. I'm gonna duplicate this. I can right click and choose duplicate. Or the easy way, just press command or control D. Command D, command D. I'll select the second one, tap enter or return. I'll call this one amp for amplitude. Select the third one, enter return. I'll call this one octaves. And now let's connect this expression to the slider controls. And if you don't see your expression, if you tap the letter E two times, so EE, -E, that will reveal all expressions. So just click inside the expression editor, highlight the first value, this is frequency, then go to the expression pick whip, click, and drag it on to the frequency slider control. Highlight the second value, in this case 20. Go to the expression pick whip and drag it to the amplitude slider. And now for the last one, select that 0.5. This is the octave. Go to the expression pick whip and drag it onto the octave slider control. So there's no wiggle right now because they're all at zero. But if I put the exact same values, 2, 20, 0.5, now we have the exact same wiggle. To add expression comments, first I'm just gonna make a little room down here in the timeline. Then I'm just gonna click inside the expression editor. I'll go to the end, I'll tap return a couple times. And if I hover my cursor, I can drag to make some room. To add a single line comment, all you have to do is type out two forward slashes. So those are under the question mark. So forward slash, forward slash, and type out your single line comment. Maybe you use the wiggle expression all the time, but you always forget which one's frequency, which one's amplitude. Maybe you didn't even know that you could add a third value called octaves. Or maybe you've used octaves, but always forget what it does. Well, you can use expression comments, write yourself a note so you'll always remember. Shift return, I'll follow the exact same procedure to add single line comments. So now I know the amplitude is the distance or how much the animation is moving and octaves controls the smoothness or the complexity of the wiggles. Two forward slashes for a single line comment. If you want to enter a multi-line comment, type one forward slash followed by an asterisk. So shift eight, I'll tap return. Now you can put as many lines of comments or notes as you want. And at the end, you need to close it by reversing what you started with. So asterisk first, shift eight, followed by a forward slash. And that is how you can add single line and multi-line expression comments. So you never forget what the expression does or why you added it in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.